Hey guys, welcome back to Dear Esther. In this episode we're going to be jumping into chapter 4, the final chapter. Try and find out exactly what this island is about. So, let's go. It'll soon all come to an end. Perhaps we'll find out what's going on, perhaps we won't. Let's wait and see. More candles. A camp. Who's been camping here? Boxes of candles. Take the left path. See if we can uh, get some closure. I wish I could have known Donnelly in this place. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? Bizarre. Pale moon rises over the sea. Keep going. Let's investigate over here. Let's check the ends of these, uh, these docks just to see if there's anything out here. What's that? There's the beacon, our goal. Let's see if we can find our way up to it. I returned home with a pocket full of stolen ash. Half of it fell out of my coat and vanished into the car's upholstery. But the rest I carefully stowed away in a box I kept in a drawer by the side of my bed. It was never intended as a meaningful act, but over the years it became a kind of talisman. I'd sit still, quite still for hours, just holding the diminishing powder in my palm and noting its smoothness. In time, we will all be worn down into granules washed into the sea and dispersed. Another cave. What's this? I'm no chemist, so... If any of you guys know what this is, make sure you let me know. Beacon. Ah, oh, it hasn't stopped. If I just follow the candles, 
Perhaps I'll find answers at the end. What's this? Tires? An exhaust? An axle? They almost make a face with the two tires as eyes and the car door is like a, a smiley happy out happy uh, happy mouth and the exhaust is a mustache what does it mean a hospital bed in the middle of a motorway there were chemical diagrams on the mug he gave me coffee in sticky at the handle where his hands shook he worked for a pharmaceutical company with an office based on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. He'd been travelling back from a sales conference in Exeter, forming a strategic vision for the peddling of antacid yoghurt to the European market. You could trace the connections with your finger, join the dots, and whole new compounds would be summoned into activity. Light from heaven shone... around him another passage from the Bible so the clues are car parts a hospital bed in the middle of a motorway pictures of an unborn baby Talk of a crash. Chemical formula for alcohol or ethanol. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats, I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into twenty-one pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Sent letters. Sending somebody's ashes in boats. here in this small garage on a sudden a light from heaven shone around him and he fell to the ground take these steps, perhaps they lead up to the beacon. clear night. The pain in my leg sent me blind for a few minutes as I struggled up the cliff path. I swallowed another handful of painkillers and now I feel almost lucid. The island around me has retreated to a hazed distance, whilst the moon appears to have descended into my palm to guide me. I can see a thick black line of infection reaching for my heart from the waistband of my trousers. Through the fugue it's all the world like the path I have cut from the lowlands towards the aerial.
What's that? Up on that hill. Did I see? There's somebody up there. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge, and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. He's gone. He was on this bluff here. I know, I saw it. And he was... proceeding on his journey. And as he was... Proceeding on his journey. And was come near Damascus. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. The last journey of a man experiencing some kind of loss. Bent back like a nail, like a hangnail, like a drowning man clung onto the wheel, drunk and spiraled, washed onto the lost shore under a moon as fractured as a shattered wing. We cleave, we are flight and suspended, these wretched painkillers, this forming constant. I will take flight, I will take flight. What's that? And it came to pass that as I made my journey Danger. We're getting close. Almost at the beacon. where we'll find an ending to all this. And as I made my journey and was come nigh Oh no! not read that. And could not see. I have dredged these waters for the bones of the hermit, for the traces of Donnelly for any sign of Jakobsen's flock, for the empty bottle that would incriminate him. I have scoured this stretch of motorway 21 times, attempting to recreate his trajectory, the point when his heart stopped dead and all he saw was the moon over the Sanford Junction. 
He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. And it was not his fault. It was the converging lines that doomed him. This is not a recorded natural condition. The gulls do not fly so low over the motorway and cause him to swerve. The paint scored away from his car in lines like an infection, making directly for the heart. Oh. I won't reveal what I think this all means. But everybody has a part to play in this. Jacobson, Donnelly, Esther. It all means something. Will we have? I have run out of places to climb. I will abandon this body and take to the air. Our ending. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We have always been drawn to you. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Expecting this. Last ship of the Armada. As we fly into the stormy skies and say goodbye to dear Esther. Shin, and this has been Dear Esther. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this experience of uh, of Dear Esther, and uh, hit subscribe if you did. And I will uh, I will see you next time.